Good evening, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talk. So, this is uh, part two um, of a collection pickup that I had gone back basically and bought more stuff. Um, essentially, I had shot video one a couple days ago. Um, I'd gone, picked up a bunch of stuff, went through it. And a couple of days later, they had called me back and said, Hey, I found another box of stuff if you're interested and you want to come take a look at it. Um, I had looked at it and basically I quoted the guy a couple hundred bucks. I said I'd give him 200 bucks for it. And um, this is what I had picked up. So I figure we'll take a look through and you can tell me what you think. Um, the prize of the collection that I think, in my opinion, um, well, it's a toss up between that or those, but. I'll start with this because I like it the best. Um, unfortunately, it's missing six coins. Um, it's part of the 50 states quarters. They're all in capsules, and the capsules are pretty much designed to fit in there to punch in place. Um, I'm probably going to have a hard time finding replacements um, for those, um, unfortunately. Uh, I could probably pick up the quarters somewhere, but it's going to be very difficult to find the capsules to fit. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do in that case yet. But it's pretty neat. I like it. If I can finish it up, the frame's really nice. A um, couple of uh, coin books. Nothing special. Um, basically, uh, Pearl Harbor coin collection. And then some uh, pages. The World War II coin collection and behind that some pages so that's pretty neat um, this right here I don't know anything about this is the it's a book um, and all the stuff came basically every one of these um, was in envelopes um, I was sad that I was missing number one of 28 I'm never gonna find that again um, don't really know the value they are australian five dollars so i'm hoping at a worst case scenario if i had to i could spend them um or trade them in somehow um i don't know what i'm gonna do with them yet i mean i'm a little disappointed that i'm missing one um the odds of me pick finding that number one is going to be pretty slim but like i said they are pretty coins um So you can see pretty much they're all there. And I'll zoom in on one real quick so y'all can take a look. Let's see if we can get a, a good look here. You can see they're, uh, they say Australia. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II has some information. Um, weight. Um, the metal. Basically bronze diameter nothing I wish they were silver that'd be really cool but uh for five bucks I mean I'm you know for five bucks a piece I can understand they're not gonna put I mean I don't know because the receipt that was on these because the receipt was still in one of the boxes as you can see I got a whole bunch of stuff back here um from pulling it all out of boxes and stuff the receipt said they cost 12 bucks a piece um Maybe I'll get lucky and be able to find the missing one that I need. A couple of watches, nothing special. Um, some sports cards, still nothing special. There. Um, this is pretty cool. First day issue, Reagan. Um, the USS Ronald Reagan. Really nice piece of Navy memorabilia. Um, I am prior military, prior Navy. Um, so I may put that in my room of military flags and other memorabilia. This stuff right here, I don't know anything about either. It was stamps, um, a lot of stamps. As you can see, I'll zoom in on one here. They say 26. Um, I don't know 26 what um, on the back side I think they're real stamps on the back side they um, commemorative strip they are all numbered um, and there's a lot of them um, I mean a lot look 
a lot of this one. I'll show you that one in a minute. I mean, look at the amount of them. They've none of them been used, so I guess at some point maybe someone can uh, mail a card. At first, I thought they were U.S. stamps, so I was like, "Wow." Um, they say a dollar eighty F. If you know what a dollar eighty F is, let me know. I guess I could probably only use them over there. Um, so that was pretty neat, I guess. But uh, if I can find someone that's a uh, Princess Diana um, that likes Princess Diana, then would be pretty cool, I think. This was pretty neat because this was one of the things that I, I did really like. It was all U.S. stamps. Um, these envelopes come from the post office here in the U.S. And when you open it up, um, we're talking a lot of stamps you can see in there. Books of stamps. Pretty neat, 32 cents um, a stamp times four or five sheets there, plus books inside. Um, same thing, more stamps. These ones, so you can see the price on them. More 32 cent stamps, Alfred Hitchcock, I think. Um, but there's another five sheets in there. I mean, these are heavy, there's a lot of stamps in here. Um, if anything, these are U.S. stamps, these ones, so I will be able to mail them if I wanted to. Kind of like this one. Me and my son were briefly looking at it. Had the planes. All the dinosaurs. Um, they've, they've been doing a great job on that type of stuff. Um, this one I opened up. As you can see, that's our 911 stamps. There's 20 stamps to a sheet. Um, these are first class, they say, so I think they're basically a flat postage. Um, so, we'll see here what else we got. Now, this was pretty cool. I got to hide it because there's a, a, a address behind where my finger is. Um, this is pretty cool because... This is a first day issue, um, or, or not a first day issue, like some kind of commemorative. It was mailed from the USS Lexington. Let's see if we can get a good look there. And the reason this is so cool is because I'm all the way up in Maine, and it basically came from Corpus Christi, Texas, where I live. So that's a pretty neat um, piece, I think. So, and then I already showed you these stamps which is pretty cool and then a few more stamps underneath um the other thing that i really like there's two of these coins i've already opened up one so i can show you guys see if i can zoom in and get a really good look here so as you can see these are one dollar um queen of england coins don't really know anything about foreign coins beautiful condition it it's just it's it's beautiful i love this coin um it's an ounce of silver there's two of them and as you can see um queen elizabeth the queen mother kind of neat i'm not sure celebrating 100 years on 4 august 2000 so the coin's basically um, 17, 17, 18 years old. Uh, real pretty coin. If you know anything about these two coins, they're the same coin on both of them. Let me know. Um, it comes from the Parth Mint. Comes with a little uh, serial number, certificate, whatever. Yep. So, and then I got two of them, so it's pretty cool. I can trade one or do sell them or whatever. Um, the other thing, these two rolls of pennies, I opened one up to show. Um, I actually shot this video twice, but I showed something I didn't want to show. It had a, an address that was mixed in, and uh, so I wanted to hide that. But as you can see, if I can focus in, can't really focus in. So this is just a roll of pennies. Not anything super special, but right in front of um, Lincoln's face is, says Alabama, 
and it has a stamp of the state, which is pretty cool. So each one, I'll see if I can pour out one or two. See if we can get a better look at that one maybe. As you can see right there in front of his face, there's a, a silhouette of each state. So it's kind of neat. Um, not anything special. I've actually seen one or two of these before when I was looking through pennies. Um, where they basically, it ain't nothing special. They just stamp the, the picture of the state on there. And then you can get a roll of pennies which is going to have all 50 states um, stamped on each of the 50 pennies. In here, nothing special. Um, some mixed wheat pennies. A lot of uh, steel pennies, which was funny because I've never, ever found a steel penny in circulation yet before. A couple dollars in half dollars, two dollars worth, nothing special. There was one um, silver half dollar in the box. It's got tape all around it for some reason. Um, bad condition, but still worth, worth a couple bucks. Um, it is 90% silver. A... Susan B. Anthony and a newspaper clipping was in there about the new dollar coming out, the Sacagawea dollar, which was kind of funny. Um, it's been out a while, so but it was in there. Two dollar bill um, from Canada, and I don't know what this Japanese thing is. Um, it says five pesos. Um, looks like a U.S. dollar, but real cheaply made possibly um, during occupied Japan um, maybe and a little bag of change I mean they had a ton of different stuff we're not really some stuff we just don't know I said occupied Japan because there was like four boxes of little occupied Japan statues and figures that she was trying to get rid of um, so she asked if we were interested, and then we turned it down, but she gave my son one piece um, just so he would have a piece of basically occupied Japan porcelain. Um, she said they only made it during the time that the U.S. Was, had taken over the country and was monitoring everything over there. So let me know if you guys have any information um, on some of the stuff that I don't know, like these two coins. I'd love to hear some advice, maybe a link. Um, if you have any advice on where I might be able to find number one of the Sydney set, um, that would be pretty cool to, to get number one if I don't pay an arm and a leg for it, um, just to complete the set. Um, I'll probably trade the set off anyway. Same on them stamps, the foreign stamps, um, with all the Princess Diana. Let me know what you think. Are they just regular stamps, kind of like the U.S. ones, or are they something special? And with that being said, let me know what you think overall for 200 bucks. Um, you think I overpaid? I mean, there's probably $100 worth of stamps there. Um, worst case scenario, um, assuming Australian money is equal to U.S. money, um, 27 $5 coins, you're looking at uh, 135 bucks there. And the two ounces of silver... And them got to be at least 25 bucks a piece. Um, I'm hoping. <laughs> they are from 2000, so 18 years old. And the quarters, another $12. Uh, I'm sorry, another uh, $11 there. If worst case scenario, I had to pop them out. But I would never do that. So I, I might have overpaid a little bit on this. But give me, give me your advice. Let me know what you think. Um... I was hoping maybe, you know, if I picked it up for two, if I can maybe make three out of the deal when I go to get rid of some of this stuff, um, I'll be happy. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are trying to grow the channel. Um, also, if you can, hit that like button and um, leave us a comment. The most important thing is the comment. I mean, we're trying to grow our subs, which really helps us out. But... The comments are really important because that's what keeps us going. We, we see the comments, we read them, and we love hearing from people on stuff we don't know. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.